Hi, good morning, guys. Um, I know many of you know how to make chicken soup, um, but I got something that's kind of bothering me. Um, I'm not on Facebook, but I'm on Instagram and, of course, YouTube. Now, I'm seeing many, many people canning for the very first time this year, and they're so proud of the pictures they put on um, of their chicken soup. And they put the before pictures and the after pictures. Well, the before pictures are showing raw chicken, layered with the peas and the carrots and all that. I don't do that. Um, yes, I can chicken raw. That's, I, I just, I can it raw. Everybody cans their chicken raw. And you don't have to add any liquid. There's many videos on it. You just put the chicken in and pressure can. So, do you see all this, um, this, it's like a white stuff. I don't know what it's called. Maybe the fats and, and all that stuff. Well, when you can your chicken um, raw with for a soup, you're getting all those, all that icky stuff, all that, this, uh, just, I just call it, it's just like a glue. Or I don't know what it is. It's part of the chicken. But like if you've ever boiled a chicken and you see this stuff that's floating around, you don't want that in your beautiful soup, guys. <laughs> so, um... I cook my chicken first before I put it in the jars um, and I don't know I just don't like it when you put raw chicken with vegetables uh, something just doesn't set right with me I mean I know many of you maybe do that I don't when I make my soups and I, my stews that meat is cooked first that way most of that fat is off so you don't have fat floating on your soup and you have nice, clean-looking meat. You want your soups and your stews, when you pull out a jar, you want them have to have a beautiful appearance. You don't want your family to go, what the hell is all in there? What's floating around in there? You don't want that to happen. You do get some of it, but not all of it, especially if you pre-cook your meat, your chicken, and your, and your beef. So I'm going to show you um, how I do my chicken soup. Now, sometimes I put a little rice in the in the jars. I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'm just let me show you here what I'm going to be doing. You got to get everything assembled, guys. So I've got my frozen onions that I did. I've got my carrots, my peas, and my corn. You can add, you know, your other things also. And I cook my chicken in this. It's called beer can chicken from Weber, and we love the taste of it. So let me get this going here, and I want to show you how to do it. Now, if some of you are watching this and you've already canned your chicken soup with your raw chicken, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But um, to me, I want the meat cooked before I put it with the vegetables, and at least not all the way cooked, par cooked, um, because you are pressure canning it, and that does add more cooking time to it. So let me get my chicken all cut up, and... Um, I just want, you know, I just wanted to help all the newbies out there. Um, you know, if they get discouraged, they might not want to can again. And I'm addicted to canning. So let me get the meat cut up and um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So another thing that I do is I don't add any grease or fat to my, my pan. I put a little bit of water in and then I turn it on until it gets really hot. Because if you add grease and fat... That will be transferring into your soup, and grease and fat can help turn your food rancid. So you want to take out as much fat when you're pressure canning as you possibly can. I even cut off the pieces of fat that are um, on the chicken. So over here in this pan, um, I'm not going to, I mean, I take a lot of time. It, it, it's... Um, very time consuming when you make your own beef and chicken and turkey broth and vegetable broth. So I'm not gonna waste my precious broth, put it in, in a soup. I make a really quick broth. I use the Noor, you can use any brand of the uh, powder chicken broth. And I, so I get a big pan of water going, I put a whole bunch of the broth in there and that's what I'm gonna use to cover my um, food that's in the jar. So this is boiling now. So I'm going to put in, and you make sure your hands are, are perfectly clean, guys. You don't want to cross-contaminate, okay? You don't want to, to cross-contaminate, especially with chicken. So every time you go to grab something, 
Make sure you wash your hands after you've touched the chicken. So I've got chicken cooking in here. It's basically kind of parboiling, or I mean uh, parboiling. And then I'm going to add my spice. You could add whatever spices you like, but this tastes really good on chicken. It's Weber. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to let this boil, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I got all the chicken cut up. Oh, if you could smell this kitchen, you guys. Woohoo! Like I said, I don't cook it all the way because the pressure canning also finishes cooking it off. And um, I cook it till I get the pink off. And I've only added water, have not added any fat or anything to my pan. I'll start layering in the jars. Okay, I got the chicken done. It's not all the way done. It's pink in the center. So I'm going to start layering it in the jars. I'm going to start with the chicken first. Actually, I think I'll start with the peas first because I want to make sure that every jar has basically the same amount. You don't want to make this in a big pan and then start putting it in the jars because a couple of your jars aren't going to have any chicken or they're not going to have any corn. So you want to make sure that every jar gets an equal amount. Okay, so I don't think you guys need to see how I do the jars. I mean, that's just a lot of video time taken up. So I'm going to get these layered out and then I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so if you didn't want to make chicken soup but you wanted to make vegetable soup, that's how you do it. You put in your veggies the way you want. You put in your spices. This is the peas, corn, my purple onion, and the carrot. So this could be just vegetable soup if you want to. And if you want to add, make it uh, vegetable beef, that's when you add the cooked beef. Okay, so I've added the chicken. Okay, so let me get the rest of these jars done. And then I will show you adding the broth because you can't make the soup without the broth. Real quick question, real quick uh, point, guys. Um, never used uh, already store bought can vegetables for your soups because it will be total mush because those are already pressure canned. Either use frozen or fresh, but never the canned from the store. Okay, so I got five quarts of chicken soup out of two chicken breasts. Now, some of the jars are a little shy of corn, like this one. That's okay. Just so it's kind of, the meat is the, ba the big thing that I want balanced. Now, you can use plain water. You can use vegetable broth, anything you want. You can use your own homemade chicken broth. So, you just put the liquid in. I'm using the powdered chicken broth and I made a huge batch of it and you only want to fill it to the bottom of the line so let me get this done okay so I got it in you want to wipe the rim if you don't have a clean rim your jar is not going to seal okay guys looks like pretty good stuff to me Okay, you're going to pressure can these quarts for 90 minutes, okay? And you're going to do the pints for 75 minutes. And you can only pressure can it, guys. That is it. Only pressure can. Okay, you're going to release the air bubbles. I use a wooden knife. There shouldn't be any air bubbles because it's not packed in your super tight. 
And I'll wipe them again. Okay, I'm gonna put the seals and the rings on. I'm gonna get these in the pressure canner, guys, for an hour and 30 minutes, okay? Okay, guys, here it is. It's all done. Chicken soup. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a work of art. I applaud all you people that are now picking up uh, the canning skills. It was becoming a lost art. And the more you know what's in the food, in your food that you're eating, the more you'll enjoy it.